नमस्कार एज यू ऑल आर अवेयर दैट वी आर डूइंग दिस बुक हाउ टू ओवरकम मेंटल टेंशन बाय स्वामी गोकुलानंद जी महाराज इन क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर इट्स अ कलेक्शन ऑफ हिज लेक्चर्स ऑन मेंटल टेंशन टुडे वी स्टार्ट द फिफ्थ चैप्टर वर्ल्ड व्यू इन रिलेशन टू मेंटल स्टेट्स हियर ही इज गिविंग अस द नेचर ऑफ फेट एंड हाउ ईच इंडिविजुअल परसीव्स इट Maharaj says people who are vulnerable to the feelings of hopelessness often have a mechanistic view of the world they feel that they cannot avoid the nature of fate and destiny which have their own inevitable course there is nothing that can be done by them because they suffer with the feeling of hopelessness they are under the impression that good things in life are rare and when they do come it is only through extreme hard work for ordinary or mediocre people there is no hope of any good they doubt their ability which serves as a block preventing them from finding outlets for their emotions there are different phases of hopelessness according to li shan the early experiences beliefs and thought patterns of some individuals are responsible for the development of the first phase of hopelessness then there is a second phase where a person accepts whatever is given and tries to fulfill his duties without innovation and ingenuity the third phase is where a meaningful relationship or a satisfying job is suddenly terminated and the person becomes a victim of hopelessness for instance a person had an important position in a particular field suddenly he is transferred to another field to begin with he is able to find satisfaction in his new assignment but sooner or later he may think that he is not getting adequate satisfaction out of the new job he has been given this results gradually in utter despair in the categorization of li shan these people belong to the third phase of hopelessness they hold a totally negative view of themselves and the world they have the following beliefs one objects and people outside of themselves cannot bring any help two there is no possibility of development or change they firmly believe that things will remain bad for them and there is no more bright prospects for them three they think that even if they are given some other work it also will not relieve them of their loneliness interestingly though these individuals suffer from acute hopelessness they continue to function they may only be passing through a phase of hopelessness it does not mean that under its influence they give up their jobs or give up living on the surface they may appear placid and hard working but behind all this they are convinced that there is no hope for them they feel that they have achieved whatever they had to do and there is no further possibility of achievement in life consequently they feel entrapped in the words of li shan there are cases when this feeling of hopelessness sometimes leads to fatal diseases like cancer li shan describes a typical case of a lady called jenny when he approached her she was on her deathbed she had terminal cancer when he asked her about her experiences and how she developed cancer she said in a quiet voice well i am not surprised at it because from the beginning i had a feeling that there was no hope for me and i would never have real happiness in life this illustrates how from the very beginning jenny adopted a negative attitude and made herself a victim of the fatal disease some of the typical experiences which induce hopelessness are the death of a spouse or a family member loss of a high position or power a threat or such other causes if these adverse conditions come up in the life of a person who has all along lived an integrated life a deeply spiritual life and always cultivated some fundamental positive virtues such a person 
will not have this kind of negative thinking. But those who lack this dimension in life are always heard grumbling. Oh, why did God destine this for me? I am going to die. There is no hope. What will happen to my family after me? I wish God would take me quickly. I cannot bear this suffering anymore. Why is he not taking me to his abode and such others? Hope you can relate to some of these and understand what Maharaj is trying to say. In the next part of this lecture, Maharaj is going to give us a few more reasons and the way people feel hopeless. After that, he's going to bring to us as to how we can overcome these problems. Stay tuned to the Vakshar, share and like the videos and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for being with us.